I scraped as much of the dry grass as possible with the rake so that new grass should form. Ended up removing, let me show you closer, look, all of those like branches and twines and stuff that were tangling the palm tree after the hurricane. You guys probably remember this one, this is where I was sitting and that snake popped out on me. Remember how small it was? Look how big it is now. It's huge. But yeah, so it can have room to grow and breathe and then I also, um, the same to this one over here so it could breathe have more space to grow and not be so strangled and constricted so and it just looked nicer that way this stuff lord knows eventually has to be moved out I'm working on it though and I just sort of called a contractor and they never came. I guess they're very busy and yeah, a lot of times they don't show up. They're like a no-show because of how busy they are. It just sucks. Or like if you have a job too small, they usually, it's not worth the drive to them. You know, the gas money. Cause these people drive pretty far cause they're not necessarily here on location. So yeah. And this hurricane just caused so much devastation. They actually just halted the garbage cleanup. So, um, it's a beautiful morning, by the way. I felt some good energy today. And it's two, 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 three. So it's a wonderful day um, to soak in the sunlight. I go every morning, I like sun gazing, and I just look directly up at the sun for a few seconds. And, um,. Yeah, but I guess I'm just going to end up having to call an electrician because it's just too much right now anyway, you know. Too many expenses, too many purchases. Um, I do want to show you my newest purchase though. It's a long wait. I am going to go to Micanopy, Florida in a few weeks. And I'm going to go to the longest trail in florida it's like almost three miles long and then i'm gonna go to some like spiritual gathering um retreat slash retreat event um there as well so it's gonna be exciting and oh yeah now i can show you what i was about to show you. i'm just so frustrated like my insurance company is backing out of florida i guess they went bust no one can afford to be in Florida anymore with these hurricanes, these storms and weather events. So now I'm probably going to have to end up paying more. All right, let me show you. Bam! Got my new bike. So it's a Schwinn. I thought I'd try out blue this time. I never had a blue bike. I had to buy a separate seat cushion and basket because it did not come with those two. Oh, my water bottle was still there. I didn't even notice. I had to install this and hook this up myself. So there you go. I love it so much and it works much better and it's more mountain bikey than my last bike. My last bike, literally the bike exploded. Like the, the front tire exploded, I mean. These are a lot thinner. Oh, with tax, insurance, and everything, it was like $600. So it, it's it's a beauty. I love it so much. More than I was willing to pay for a bike, but bikes do be costly nowadays. 
I've already drove it a few times. I just tried it out today, first time with the seat cover and the basket because I do like having my waters for my long trip. So this weekend, hopefully I get to go finally on my longer bike rides. It's been literally months. Like I don't think I rode a bike since March, April of last year because of that explosion. And then I was dating someone and then I was just going through a lot and going here and there and the hurricane happened and all that stuff. So I just never got around to getting a bike, but yeah, it, I'm so happy. It's so beautiful. I was thinking about electric, but uh, it's just too expensive. So these have seven different shifts and this back brake works wonderfully. I did have to move the reflector because the basket was in the way, but it's okay. I never drive at night anyway. And then they have three adjusters here and the left brake for the front tire. And I like that this um, can go backwards as well without like back pedaling being the brake. So uh, I did get this from Dick's Sporting Goods and I never actually bought anything in my life from there ever before, but um, I realized that they sold bikes. So I thought, why not? And thin wheels, very much thinner than my Huffy was. I just, I just came back from a 10 mile bike ride. I haven't had one of those in literally a whole year since my bike broke. I'm so sweaty. That was quite a workout on my glutes and my legs. Oh my God. I'm trying to get back to 16 to 18 miles once a week because that's what I used to do. All right, I have some tarot reading bookings to do. If you like your own tarot reading. I'm promoting it like crazy right now because I just have so much energy. <laughs> TonyBomboni.com, links are always in the description. Oh, my voice is dry and raspy, I need some water before I dehydrate or get <laughs> heat exhaustion. All right, poopsies, thanks for joining me on my journey. And I'll see you in the next one, Universe Darlings. Take care. But I am mostly spending more time outside because I'm prepping my skin for my getaway slash spiritual retreat. Um, cause I'm going to be outside two days straight in the dead of heat. So I still have moisturizer. I always recommend you wear some cause it's just, it'd be dangerous out here though. <laughs> it's like really hot. Wow. I think my body is freaking out right now and I'm a little overwhelmed cause it's literally been a whole year that I had this intense of a workout. So I'm really work going through it right now. I'm probably going to be sore as ever tomorrow morning. Do you guys notice that the days are going by very quickly now? Like it's actually crazy how fast days are going. Like every day is like 10 hours. Anyway, I'm gonna go shower now. Love you guys.